ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Old Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out Captain of Industry. Um, this is a really, really unique type of automation factory building type game. I'm really, really excited to give this uh, to give this a little a little uh, a little go. Uh, it was recently fully funded on Kickstarter. This is the pre-alpha version, uh, and so. Things are, you know, um, raw, I think is probably the best way of putting it. Uh, as ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. I, I know roughly what I'm doing, and therefore uh, I should be able to, to talk you through. Okay, um, this this is a little bit of a, a little bit of an early tutorial. Uh, we'll chat a little bit about this as we go, because it is kind of important. But for now, let's talk about the game in general terms. Let's talk about mechanics. Let's talk about the story. Uh, so first of all, uh, this is this is our boat. This is our boat that is that is damaged, uh, and the ultimate goal is to repair this boat. It doesn't look that damaged to me, but I'm no I'm no boat mechanic. Uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, this is our shipyard, which is also apparently damaged. Uh, it's got a couple of uh, a couple of bits and bobs in it already. Uh, crucially, diesel. It's pretty uh, pretty darn important, and also construction parts. Construction parts, I guess, are a generic generic term generic resource that allows us to build stuff. We'll absolutely uh, be using them uh, as we go. And then out front here, we've got, uh, well, six of these absolutely fine pickup trucks, which have got, uh, I guess, back ends that can be swapped out to do a whole number of things. And we're going to be making extensive use out of all of these pickup trucks here. Uh, anyway, uh, moving right across to this side of town, we have our settlement. Uh, and this comprises of two housing blocks. Uh, and also we can have a little look at the settlement info here. Uh, notably, settlements generate uh, unity. And unity is achieved by providing stuff like food to the settlement. And unity will come in handy in just a second once we uh, once we chat a little bit about uh, what we use unity for. Uh, we've also got the food market over here. It takes five workers, which is grand. Uh, allow food delivery, allow truck deliveries when transport is connected. Uh, we use 1.3 food per month, which is fine. And uh, and also we've got 40 in the stockpile at the present moment. Uh, right, that's about everything. Uh, the other thing that you may be commenting on is that the music is a little bit out of place. Uh, that is because there is no music uh, in the game at the moment, so I've supplied my own. Uh, I hope you'll forgive me, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this structure here, we'll get to this in a little second. Uh, but for now, basically, uh, what we need to do, uh, my emails have told me to build a research lab. Uh, you don't necessarily need to read it, but uh, but there you go. Uh, anyway, there's a couple of categories across the bottom of the screen here. We've got metallurgy and smelting. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about this when it comes time to build it. Uh, we've also got storage. Uh, we've also got transportation, which allows molten channel and, and pipes. Uh, we've got buildings, which is what we're going to be doing uh, immediately. And we're going to build ourselves two of the finest research labs, I do indeed think. And as you can see, what do you know? Four pickup trucks are going to be mobilized immediately and uh we're gonna we're gonna get right on that and we're gonna start building research labs uh we can also build more housing and we can also build a food market we can do uh, tree prioritization so we can actually chop down these trees and to be honest we'll chop down those trees uh, as a priority uh, we've got some statistics with regards to production of resources population stats uh, unity stats everything that we could uh, that we could really want uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump into the research tech tree, and as you can see, it's it's fairly substantial, actually. In fact, it's it's very, very large. It is... It is huge. It is very, very large. Uh, I will say, as I've already mentioned, everything looks a little bit raw. The first thing that we need to pick up uh, is basic farming. Now, um, I've seen some ugly potatoes in my day. Uh, that's... That, that takes the cake. It, it really, really does. Anyway, uh, we're going to start work on farming. Then we're probably going to move up to construction. Uh, and then I think we're going to go to power and beacon. Again, we're sort of just following the general broad strokes of what... Uh, of what is being set out in the tutorial, uh, which I have already done. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's jump into this and see what's happening. As you can see, by the way, our research lab is consuming uh, Unity, so we're not actually gaining any Unity at the present moment. 
farming is being progressed at a pretty decent uh, at a pretty decent rate. Our population is slowly but surely increasing, and I believe that that is just due to the natural births that are happening uh, in the settlement. Uh, there is a bit of tech that we're going to get very very shortly, which is going to allow us to hopefully add to our population uh, in a way which means that we don't just have to rely on uh, a natural increase of uh, of births, etc. Right, let's get construction. Uh, and this is going to allow us... Ooh, look at that. This is going to allow us to build an assembly hall or a manual assembly line that will produce construction parts. Very, very cool. So iron plus wood equals construction parts. Now, uh, this is actually fairly important because we do already have the ability to start making uh, iron components, which is uh, which is pretty darn which is pretty darn useful. And this is where the game kind of starts to become uh, a proper factory builder. So. Uh, I'm going to set up a simple setup, uh, but it's very, very simple. First of all, we need to create charcoal from wood, uh, which is going to be, yep, as you can see, wood, charcoal also gives us exhaust. That's that's fine. Let's, uh, let's maybe make this... Sure, I think I think something like uh, something like that's fine. So we'll zone that in there. We're going to zone a blast furnace, which is going to go right over there. We're going to zone a metal caster, which is going to be. In fact, we're actually going to zone two metal casters purely because I know that that's what we're going to need. And then I'm going to get a smokestack, and the smokestack is going to quite nicely sit there. After that, we're going to do a little bit of connecting. First of all, the molten channel. To take the molten metal from the blast furnace to the casting area, we're going to get two channels in place like so. And we're also going to get uh, an appropriate output for the exhaust and an exhaust on the charcoal smelter as well as the blast furnace. Now, uh, the one thing that we can't connect at this moment in time, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to connect it later on, uh, is the output of the charcoal maker, i.e. the coal, uh, and the blast furnace. That will still have to be moved across manually by uh, by a truck, but frankly, I'm I'm very, very okay with this. It's, it's absolutely fine. Uh, right, I've unpaused. Let's let the construction parts get delivered. I think that we should have an absolute abundance of construction parts for uh, for what we need here. 200 and something construction parts. We've, we've got a lot. So we're going to let this get built up here. Now, we don't have any buffers in this process. Uh, I think that we can probably, probably if we wanted to, buffer... Maybe we could buffer the um the the exhaust. I don't know why we'd want to do that. We could also probably buffer the the molten the molten lava, or the molten iron, I guess. But uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna necessarily do that because I don't super think that it's necessary. But uh, but there we go. Uh, basic farming. We're gonna work on basic farming in just a second. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna do that in just a, in just a mo. The iron smelting tutorial. Thank you very much for that video game. Uh, I, I do actually know how to uh, how to make it work. Uh, one of the things that we need to do in order to start bringing in a little bit of wood is we're going to assign two of these trucks to tree harvesting. There we go. So that should mean that the trucks that have been uh, marked for harvest prioritization uh, will be chopped down. If I wasn't to prioritize any trees, uh, then they would just do it automatically. These pickup trucks should just bring the wood right across to the charcoal maker, which is, of course, missing input. There's only one input. This little tick is a little bit deceptive. Uh, this is actually this actually shows the recipe that is selected uh, presently for the charcoal maker. Either way, as you can see, we've got 20 bits of wood in there right now, and it is working perfectly. Construction is complete. Brilliant. We will investigate our new buildings in just a second. Uh, yeah, this is this is the one, right? This is the one. Let's let's see if we can try and yoink this up at the very end here, right? Yeah, something like something like that in there. Sure. Sure. How many workers do we have? 34 available workers? That's okay. And um, speaking of workers, it's probably a good idea if we're able to get some farms down. Probably worth building two farms. And I tell you what, uh, farms are kind of strange in terms of the fact that they only work when it's raining. Or they don't only work when it's raining, but it's... It's pretty important. It's pretty important for us to for us to ensure that uh, that they're able to get a, a good amount of water. 
Uh, right, so uh, what we can do is we can plonk the farms down immediately so that the soil water level can increase, which is grand. And hopefully that's gonna that's gonna be built fairly quickly. And uh, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to get farming some products really, really, really soon. Okay. Uh, blast furnace. Are we go on the blast furnace? Ooh. Yeah, we are not on the blast furnace yet because I have neglected to consider the second input into the blast furnace. Uh, so we need metal scrap, and the way that we get metal scrap is by starting to recycling the by starting to recycle the abandoned communication station. Uh, also, our farm is done, and it's time to introduce the potato to the crop growth schedule now. This is kind of important. This is a very, very important thing uh, when it comes to fields. At the moment, the field has 100% fertility. Uh, if we use it to grow potatoes for six months, which is exactly what we're going to do because it's going to get us 30 food and we really, really need it. It's actually going to decrease the fertility. So we're, we're going to add uh, we're going to add a little bit of rotation in here, which I think is probably pretty darn important. Harvest in six months. Excellent. Uh, we do require a bunch of water each and every month, but uh, I think that we can just about manage it. I think that we can just about manage that. I tell you what, if I was if I was smart, hold on, I would do this then that, right? That's the that's the best plan. We'll force the farm to switch immediately to the next slot. Uh, you know, go. Sure, that's fine. So we'll we'll. Uh, I don't love this. I don't love this, so they're not going to be, uh... Okay, well, it removed for change. Okay, alright. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what's happening here. Either way, we want to make sure that we alternate things. because uh, if we're able to alternate things, then it's probably going to be a, a little bit better. Okay. Uh, this is looking, this is looking good. We need, what, four iron? We need a bunch of wood. Hey, hey, hey! We are getting ourselves... We're getting ourselves a little bit of iron, I hope should be coming. Wonderful. Excellent. Uh, the charcoal is apparently taking a little bit of time. That's okay. Come on, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Might be worth us getting an additional charcoal maker just to make things go a little bit more swiftly. But the good news is, is that we are casting iron and that is, and that is what's important. Yeah, maybe an additional charcoal maker. That might be, that might be required, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's head back to the research menu and let's get uh, power and beacon again. We're sort of just following the general directives of the, uh, of the, of the tutorial mission. Also, I think that we should be ready to pick up iron. We absolutely are ready to pick up iron, which is grand. Let's freaking go, right. That's the tutorial for assembly, which is which is fine with me. Smokestack is looking... I mean, it's looking great, actually. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got too much... doesn't look like we've got too much of anything. We can also boost if we want to. Um, I don't think that we want to do this. It's going to cost us unity per month, and uh, I don't really have excess unity per month. We're using it in the, the research labs, so... Yeah, let's let's not worry about boosting the the output quite yet. Uh, good news is is that we are definitely making construction parts, which is brilliant, and the whole the whole process wasn't for nothing, which is grand. Let's stick it into two times speed and uh, let's let's watch let's watch progress. All right, we're doing fertility fertility increase. That's wonderful. And there's no water. I mean, there is no water. There's nothing that we can really do about that at the moment. Uh, we can only wait until the rain starts pouring down. I assume that somewhere down the tech tree, there is some way for us to harvest rain. I mean, settlement water, harvest rainwater, water facility, waste dump. I, I assume that this would be quite handy, actually. But who knows, eh? Who knows? I I'm assuming that that's going to be useful for us, but uh, but there we go. I think that that's all that we really need to build at this moment in time. We've already got a food market and housing. Unit storage is probably kind of useful, to be honest. I've got to imagine that there is a conveyor belt system 
at some point down the line. And I guess having a unit storage facility somewhere here would be would be great. Let's store construction parts. There we go. We can store up to 180 construction parts. And the power and beacon research is complete, which is brilliant. Uh, let's immediately go into settlement Walter. Again, I don't know if I'm going to end up disrupting the, uh, the tutorial supply, but I feel like I kind of need it to make sure that the farms are consistently able to... To output uh, to output food anyway what did we just complete oh yeah we got the research for the diesel generator burns diesel to create electricity i mean very cool we do have a whole bunch of diesel that is just chilling here anyway uh, which is grand uh, but the other thing that i'm looking for is yeah the beacon so strong light helps other refugees to find your island and join you now i'm gonna get this down because it's pretty important. And uh, I'm also going to get a corresponding diesel generator because the diesel generator is required because the beacon requires a certain number of kilowatts for for powering it. But uh, that shouldn't be too challenging at all. I didn't see how many how many people have to work at the beacon. It's only two people to work at the beacon, but that's, that's fine. Uh, we are going to start losing unity, which makes me a little bit a little bit apprehensive, but that's only whilst we're actually using the labs. The labs take uh, 0 0.5 unity apiece. So if we were to turn the labs off, then we'd be just fine. We'd be just fine. Okay, finally, the soil level in the uh, in the fields is going up. Harvest in 3.5 months. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, the time period is slightly different, which isn't super perfect, but, uh, but that's okay. Right, hopefully the, the soil water level is going to be charged up to, to maximum pretty darn pretty darn quick uh, we got 19 construction parts we could toggle this button and unload everything but I don't think that that's a super uh, clever idea the beacon is going to be turned on which is which is grand expecting 12 refugees in less than a month hey 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 brilliant that's good news I'm very happy with that all right, population increase, new refugees. Hey, look at this, look at this. We get free We get free stuff. So we get 60 copper, 30 rubber, and 40 diesel. Good stuff. And research has been completed on settlement water. Uh, brilliant. Do we want to, do we want to work on something else now? Vehicle depot, small excavator, pickup, mine control tower. I feel like this is very, very important. The reason that I feel vehicles and mining is pretty important is that we've got this abandoned communication station that we're currently disassembling. We got another 370 uh, metal in that. But I mean, that's not going to last forever. And I'm going to make the assumption that this stuff is probably going to be a much better long-term long-term way of uh, of securing our iron resources also we are bang out of unity which is uh sucky actually very very sucky very very sucky means that we're not going to be able to make any progress on our research or on our beacon as it'll probably be interrupted i imagine yeah not enough unity i i thought as much i thought as much uh okay do we need to do we need to do anything else? I don't think that we necessarily need to do anything else. Uh, the problem the problem is, is that the way that the game sets its objectives is super unhelpful. And uh, I really don't like it. Uh, what am I looking for? Hey, 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 it is iron ore. I knew it. So what else, what else have we got? We got gold ore over here. We got copper ore over here. We got a little bit of lumber. I say lumber. We don't have lumber. That's that's coal. That's coal in there. Ooh. And we got some oil over here, too. Okay. I mean, that's wonderful. That's excellent. Uh, what do we get? We got some new refugees. Oh, brilliant. That's very, very nice indeed. Okay. 31 rubber, 42 diesel. Uh, we're up to 113 pops. Now, this housing block has got 60 capacity. This has got 60 capacity. We have a capacity of 120. Two food per month. Two food per month. We've not even had our first harvest of potatoes yet. Uh, so it's it's pretty imperative that we get the water down, right? Allows liquid dumping into the ocean. Mm, rainwater harvester. Harvests rainwater during rain. I feel like that is kind of imperative. Yeah, okay. Let's get one of those. 
Let's get one of those. Anything else that we can think about? I tell you what, fluid storage seems very, very important, right? Yep, let's get that. And let's get transportation. Let's go. Okay, so hopefully we're going to have enough construction parts to make all of this happen. Uh, I don't really think after we do this vehicles and mining uh, objective, uh, I, a bit of research, I don't think that I want to do any more, any more research for a little while. Uh, also, what are we, what are we, what are we doing with our other types of our water facility? Fresh water for attached settlement and returns wastewater that needs to be disposed of. Ah, I suspect that this is going to be a way that we can get more unity. Yeah. Okay, let's let's plonk this down here. Ah, how much was that? Hold on. How many construction components was that? I don't think that we're going to be able to build that. Let's pause that for now because let's be let's be brutally honest, we're not going to have we're not going to have the ability to do that for a little uh, a little while. Okay. Also, we can maybe think about stopping the yeah, we can maybe think about stopping the beacon because it's just not going to be... It's just not going to be required at some point pretty uh, pretty soon. We just don't need any more. Is it worth maybe getting an additional assembly hall? Sure, build an additional assembly hall. It's only going to take 20 components. Not enough housing. Its settlement is overcrowded. Uh, that's a problem, actually. That's a real, real problem. Can we, can we get another block? I mean, water facility is going down here. So let's get another block in there and let's see, let's see what we can do. I kind of like how the settlements just all click together. That's really, really nice. Uh, rainwater harvester. Oh my goodness gracious me. Our rainwater is filling up super duper quick. Here's the question. Are my regular trucks able to move rainwater? Or do we need to move rainwater via a pipe? We can't move it via a pipe to the fields. They're moving food now. That's good. That's nice. At least we're at least we're in a good place with regards to food. The settlement is coming along uh, nicely. We are losing unity, which I appreciate. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Got a couple of people that are homeless. The beacon is draining our unity. Uh, water should be good to increase everyone's unity in just a bit. Can we maybe think about building this now? I think that we absolutely can. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. This is taking, this is taking a lot of construction. This is taking a lot of construction components, but it's okay. Also, we're going to have to go a little bit further afield for trees. Let's let our, uh, unity recover a little bit, shall we? Yeah, I've decided to start building two projects at the same time, which is not great. No water. Now, is that just because we're not able to transport water on the back of these trucks? May very well be the case. It also could be entirely due to the fact that we don't have a, uh, a water truck attachment to the back of the, uh, to the back of the trucks, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's get this finished. Let's get this finished. We're going to need to clearly get a whole bunch of additional components. Uh, I, I honestly wonder if it's maybe worth just getting even more of these things. Yeah, because we got plenty of workers, right? We got plenty of workers. There's nothing else that we really need to worry about right now. Uh, tutorial for mining and dumping. If I need to use it, I will. That's fine. Let's, as I say, not do any shenanigans. What do we got? Tree harvesting is in the queue. Uh, this is okay. This is okay. Eleven seconds in the queue. This is this is this is absolutely fine. We've got no issues whatsoever. Our trucks are managing to make everything happen. Right. Uh, we got eighty-six more metal scrap here, which means that we need to seriously think about. Yep. Look at this. Swapping on over to another recipe on our blast furnace. What do we need? We need iron ore and coal. We do need less coal, though, so that's kind of important. Produces the same amount of molten iron, produces the same amount of exhaust, but it also gives us slag as well, uh, which is fine. 
not necessarily a problem. Right, so you are consuming water. Ah, so it looks like we are able to move water. It also looks like we're not able to move water to the farm. Some refugees, that's nice. We're getting a load of rubber here, by the way, but... Uh, but apparently that's, apparently that's okay. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider is that we do need to get ourselves a waste dump here. And that's going to require a little bit of effort. Right, let's get a waste dump over there. I'm going to try and connect this with a, with a pipe. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this, I got to be honest. Let's increase to as high as we possibly can, eh? Did I connect that up even? Okay. Uh, yeah. Where do I dump this? Just right into here? Yeah. So this is a, a bit of a nightmarish, a bit of a nightmarish setup that we've got going, but I think it'll be worth it. So this takes water, it takes wastewater, it takes sour water, and it takes acid. It's also far enough away that we're probably going to be fine if we need to do some sort of water collection area over here. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Okay, so at least we know about how water works now. That's uh, an important, uh, an important bit of progress pretty reasonably happy. There we go. Missing input, but that's fine. Uh, the water is... Yep, the water should be should be pumping across there right now, which is brilliant. Okay, we got 54 workers available. 100 and... Wow, we actually have a huge amount. We actually have a huge amount of construction parts, but we're pretty much done. We're pretty much done with the whole metal scrap, so we're going to have to swap on over to the other recipe. And we just have to hope that we have enough. We just have to hope that we have enough parts to make this all happen. Uh, right, let's have a little look. This tutorial is just so freaking bad, isn't it? It's just... It's just not great. It's just not great. Okay, uh, we need a mining tower. We need a dumping area. We need, we need a whole bunch of stuff. Right, this is where it could get a little bit messy. Dumping destination, mining destination, housing services. No, I need a mine control tower. Let's mine in this area. Okay, good. Uh, vehicle depot, we will get a vehicle depot. That looks pretty good. Mining destination. Okay, that should work. And then dumping destination. Right. Did I follow the instructions uh, accordingly? I think that I did. I think that I did. Yeah. Okay. Terrain collapse. Oh my giddy ant. Okay. Well, you know what? For now, it's it's a very simple setup, but we'll we'll worry about that in just a second. I think this is good. I think this is good, actually. The terrain... The terrain should be fine. We can always turn the corner if we need to and, and go deeper somewhere else. Yeah, let's maybe take that back just a little bit here. Uh, assign trucks, that's fine. We don't need to edit the area. That's A-OK -okay the way that it is. Let's get ourselves a vehicle depot. A vehicle depot right over here. Ah, population. A couple of the population are sick. That's not exactly ideal. Not a concern, though. Not a concern even slightly. Right. What have we got? A small excavator? Yes. Let's build one of those. However, I'm now coming to the conclusion that we may... We may... We may have turned too much of our iron plate into, uh... We may have turned too much of our iron plate... 
I have turned uh, too much of our iron plate into into construction components. Yeah, it's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a slight problem, if I'm if I'm totally honest. Right, refugees. What do you bring? You bring you bring copper. I mean, that's grand. Is there a way that we can get additional iron ore? See, this is the this is the problem, right? This is the freaking problem. I'm not sure if we actually can. Not enough maintenance. Yeah, maintenance is another mechanic which we're going to worry about in just a second. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Food is still fine. Quick build, we need 16 unity to do this. Good. That's fine. I'm going to I'm going to quick build this. If we get if we get the unity, then I'm going to quick build this cuz we have to. I kind of like that mechanic actually means that I don't necessarily need to worry about things too much. Let's turn three of those off. Right, the fact that flu is is bringing bad vibes is, is not exactly ideal, but it's fine. Let's quick build this. Bish bash bosh. Let's freaking go. Okay, the excavator is hopefully going to start uh, start operating. There we go. Assign the excavator there. You're going to start excavating. Waiting for truck. Oh, hold up. Do we need... Uh, cancel that. Do we need one of those? I think we do. I think we do. I think we need a pickup truck, and I think that we need to assign... I think we need to assign a pickup truck directly here. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So, first of all, this is this is a problem. This is a problem for things just in general. Let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about that. Okay, just go go from here. Okay. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. We need to be mining the iron. Brilliant. Iron freaking ore. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get another truck assigned here. Hey hey hey, look at that. We're working. We're doing it. We're absolutely doing it. This is great news. This is brilliant news. Is two iron trucks enough? I think it might be. Look at that. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Okay, we need to worry about uh, we need to worry about the slag on the output, but uh, I mean, frankly, I'm fine with that. That's that's perfect. We now have a way that we can manufacture trucks. Uh, we do need to worry about maintenance. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned that a couple of buildings might have low maintenance. Uh, but I don't see any with low maintenance. No, I don't think there's a maintenance overlay either. I, I think that we're fine. Not enough maintenance, not enough housing, settlement is overcrowding. Uh, diesel generator. Oh, diesel generator is the only one. Uh, we can repair this if we need to. We probably should. We also do need to think of additional housing. It's pretty imperative. Refugees, what do you bring? I'll take them. It's good. It's good. It's real good. And what we're also going to do is we're also going to have a unit storage area. And this unit storage area is going to be for just iron plates. Actually, tell you what. Build it build it right here. There we go. Build it there. Wonderful. Okay, so research is something that we do need to do. Let's loose material storage, loose products, coal, iron, etc. Maybe basic diesel, diesel refining. Uh, it seems a little bit daft to do that right now. Why don't we get uh, why don't we get ourselves a few more bits and bobs? Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of additional pickup trucks, because let's be real, we need them. Ooh, yeah, we got some we got some maintenance. We got some maintenance needs. We got some real maintenance needs. Research lab is is broken. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. That is a big old problem. Uh, and we don't have enough unity. That's the that's the real issue because we're not gaining unity because our monthly unity is being consumed. 
It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, pause this. We don't need to use it. We also don't need to use the beacon at the moment. The beacon is, is definitely not required. It's fine. Uh, we don't have enough food. We don't have enough food here. We're far away from having enough food. In fact, dare I suggest that we need to very urgently make some serious changes. There we go. We need to make some serious changes as to our food production. Hey, research is complete. Right. That's good. We're back on we're back on the grind for Unity, which is grand. Right. Maintenance, what did you give me? You gave me a new building. Beautiful. Maintenance depot. Let's freaking go, shall we? Let's build it over here. We just need copper and iron, both of which we should be able to should be able to store here. Nice. Okay, everyone is breaking down. Let's repair you, repair you. Sometimes we gotta, we gotta, we gotta repair a little bit with, uh, with unity. That's, that's fine. We're losing a little bit of unity. And also these farms have no assigned crops. You know what? I don't really care about the crop scheduling. Just give me potatoes, then, uh, then green manure. We can, we can really push these these places a little bit further. But maybe let's not worry about that too much at the moment. We'll add an extra potato cycle to all of them. Yeah. Add an extra potato cycle to all of them. The maintenance department is going to be completed very shortly. Which means that everything should work just a little bit better. Our housing has come online now, which is great. Uh, we've got 20 copper, 40 copper in here now. And it's just iron that we're after. And the iron plates can get taken away. We'll repair you. Boom. Finally. Finally, 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 this should be working. Uh, if we turn the diesel generator back on, then it should work. Excellent. We're going to build maintenance. Don't ask me how the building of the maintenance works. I, I just know that it does work. We'll also turn on the beacon, because why the heck not? Um, I suppose it does decrease unity, but uh, but that's fine. Okay, let's see what let's see what happens here. There we go. There we go. We are off to the races. Does it just apply everywhere? It looks like it repairs everywhere. Monthly need 48. Okay. Truly, I'm not sure what we're actually doing. Presently. We do need a little bit of additional unity to, to quick repair this. Uh, so, yeah. Could we do that, please? Could we do that? This is looking good, though. This is looking real good. The excavator is, is doing a fine job. Generator is back on. 31% breakdown chance. Yep. Six points needed per month. Are we able to do this monthly change plus 94? We absolutely are able to do this. Also, are we using too much diesel? I don't think that we're using too much diesel, but we're using pretty pretty close to too much diesel. Uh, we'll auto repair this. We'll repair it back up to max, and then uh, and then we'll have a little look. Minus minus 94. Does that not mean plus? I think that means plus, right? Either way, I think this is good. I think this is good. Our unity should be positive. Pickup is broken as it lacks maintenance. That's fine. Uh, also, let's unassign from tree harvesting, given that you don't actually need to do any tree chopping at all. We'll, uh, we'll get you doing other things so that you can hopefully improve the queue times a little bit. This is, this is looking and feeling much better. Fluid storage is looking fine. The farms, I must confess, I am a little bit worried when it comes to farming just in general, but... Uh, but that's okay. We're back on the repair bandwagon, and that's very, very important. That looks that looks grand. Monthly change is plus four. Maybe makes you think that we should get an additional an additional maintenance facility. Uh, we, we can worry about that a little bit later on, eh? What do we need now? Basic diesel, perhaps? Copper smelting? Uh, basic diesel seems like a pretty good, pretty good port of call at the moment. Also, I see conveyor belts up here. 
that does seem that does seem like something I'm very very interested in. I think that it is. I think that it is. We also we also probably need to increase our yeah we need to increase our mining operation here. There we go. Additional trucks and let's build one more and then one more of those and more of those. Yeah. Because we do need, we do need way, 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 way more iron. I mean, this system can take it. it it's not great at taking it, but it can at least take uh, a bit of extra iron ore. Yeah, and we can always get more systems out over here at some point later on. Also, look at this. The routes that the trucks are taking, uh, the grass is, is worn away over here, which is very cool. Uh, copper and rubber and diesel, great. We're, we're getting everything that we need. That's fine with me. Hopefully, we're not going to see a collapse of anything here. Could happen, but uh, hopefully we don't see it. Basic diesel's being completed. Brilliant. Uh, we still have a little bit of unity. You know what? I'm, I'm feeling like maybe we see if we can try and push the boat out and get ourselves something else. What does this give us? Concrete mixer? Assembly. Electrified assembly line that is faster and can produce more advanced products, including the uh, construction parts part two. A uh, vehicle ramps. I guess we have to. I guess we have to dump stuff to get vehicle ramps. Also, why the heck did this start this stop working? Not enough electricity. Uh. Why? Oh, did we run out of diesel? Shipyard is overloaded with cargo. I mean. Unload with high priority. Sure. Let's uh, maybe see if we can try and fix that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't love this, but uh, we'll give it a. We'll give it a punt. Not really sure why things ain't working too too well here. Copper and diesel. See if that makes any difference. Shipyard is overloaded with cargo. Let's, let's hopefully fix it. Hopefully, hopefully fix it. Uh, what's the point of loading the crew, by the way? Absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea what the point of loading the crew is. But there we go. Not enough electricity. Uh, again, yeah, I'm sincerely unsure as to why this is as to why this is not working let's just take this opportunity to completely redo the diesel i guess yeah yeah there we go what the heck eh and we still have an appropriate number of construction parts Still not super chuffed with the fact that this blast furnace seems to be running out of uh, resources every now and again. Yeah, like now. That's not great. That's not great at all. Uh, no valid destination to deliver ore? I mean, highly questionable there, but... Whatever. Whatever. Might be worth us getting, in fact, I tell you what, it's definitely worth us getting loose material storage, given that that will allow us to actually store ore somewhere. Locked at the moment, we'll get construction later on in just a mo. Okay, let's assign the extra excavator over here. We can always reassign the excavators to work in uh, copper extraction if we need to. I don't think that we need to, but uh, we can definitely we can definitely do that in a little bit. Okay, population at the moment. I think we'll be max out at 240. Let's get... You know what? I don't really want another block. Research complete loose material storage. Brilliant. Let's have a look over here. So... If I'm correct, then we can use this loose storage to hold iron ore, and then maybe we can use a belt to move it around. 
to uh, to the blast furnace, which is quite exciting, isn't it? There we go, and that should mean that all of the trucks that were currently just chilling around, waiting here, uh, will be able to deliver to the loose storage area, and that should allow everything to happen just that little bit more quickly. Also, we definitely need another charcoal maker. Yeah, move this back here. Move this back here. Yeah, this is a good this is a good time to to rework this. As I want to consolidate our I want to consolidate our inputs. I want to consolidate our outputs. Go. Uh, we can actually just directly connect in here, I believe, but let's not worry about that too much at the moment. Copper smelting is up and running. That's grand. Uh, we're still missing the input for the, for the trees here. But that's fine. We'll we'll get on top of this. We'll get on top of this quite soon, I hope. Uh, let's assign you to tree harvesting. And we'll assign... Oh, nope. There we go. You're assigned to tree harvesting. Let's go. Come on, chop chop. Tally, tally ho. Clearly not very interested at all in, in doing any tree harvesting. It's pretty disappointing, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'm, uh, I'm disappointed. New refugees. What do we got? Copper, rubber, and diesel. Okay. It, this is good. It's good. We need more, though. We need more than just copper, rubber, and diesel. Uh, construction 2 is just about done. We've got a pretty decent... Got a pretty decent amount of crops on the field, which is excellent. Copper smelting. Uh, yep, we don't need to worry about that. Construction level 2. I mean, we are going to need to worry about that in just a second, aren't we? But let's let's build backwards, shall we? So, uh, we are going to need to do assembly buildings. Electrified assembly. Electrified assembly. That is a great bit of kit to do. The concrete mixer as well. Nine things of sand. How the heck do we get sand? That's a great question. Right. Uh, okay. Concrete mixer is on the cards. It is just about, anyway, within the realm of, uh, of possibility. I I've had a little think, actually. I suspect that the way that we probably... F yeah, the way that we extract sand must be the same way that we extract... Um, you know, iron and whatnot. So once we've managed to build this massive, massive, massive ramp here, uh, we probably will be able to get down to the beach and uh, and just mine some sand. So that's a little that's a little ways away, I would imagine at the moment. But there's nothing to stop us actually building the infrastructure right now and sort of setting up, sort of setting up for that. Uh, do we have enough iron coming in here? We're still missing charcoal. Like, we are absolutely missing charcoal. Yeah, that's a big old... That's a big old problem. I mean, hold on. We can excavate coal, right? Like, we can excavate coal. Why the heckity heckity heck haven't we done this? Mine control tower. Excellent. Let's get that built, eh? Wonderful. Uh, should I order a few more few more trucks. Not yet. Uh, let's go into research. Let's do the conveyor belt research. Although, if I'm a gambling man, which I'm really not, um, I would imagine that the conveyor belt is going to require... Conveyor belt is probably going to require construction components number two, if I had to, if I had to guess. But we'll worry about that in just a second. Mining... Designation. Okay, let's go. Let's go there. Let's go there. I mean, that doesn't really need to be. 
Yeah, it doesn't really need to be mined, but that's fine. Okay, let's get uh, a truck assigned there. We're going to move an excavator across. Uh, no, unass unassigned mine control tower. Excellent. We'll also order maybe a few more excavators. Get that assigned over yonder. And let's see it. Let's see it magically work. Let's see it magically work. Also, we need to we need to work on this ramp a little bit more. I mean, if I have a little look at the dump the dump zone. Extend this up here. Extend this up here. Extend this up here too. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get more excavating uh, excavating immediately. Conveyor belts. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How do we how do we build conveyor belts? Ah, uh, yes. Rubber and construction materials level two. I did just about think that that was what I was uh, what I was what I was going to be tasked with, but that's fine. Hey, hey, hey! Look at that coal. We got coal. We got coal. We got coal. Let's get a couple of additional trucks assigned over here, and let's. Let's get some more, some more trucks. We're going to get you assigned over here. Keep going. Now we're talking. Now we're freaking talking. We should have plenty of coal coming through now. Yeah, look at that. So much more efficient. So, so, so much more efficient. Uh, also, where are we dumping slag? Are we dumping the slag right over here? Is this the area? Yeah, this is the slag dumping area. We have some people that are homeless again, which is less than ideal. We do have an appropriate amount of water. We've got an appropriate amount of uh, wastewater exit, which is great. Uh, I'm going to turn on this facility again. We could upgrade this uh, this facility. We could make it into an electrified facility. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see if it actually makes a significant difference. It's probably going to make somewhat of a difference. This is looking this is looking brilliant. Okay. So if we upgrade this, then we can maybe we can maybe see if we can just get away with uh, with just one. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, so let's uh, let's ditch all of these then, shall we? Let's ditch you, ditch you, and ditch you as well. So it does cost us electricity, but it does do it 10 seconds faster. And we still have a surplus of electricity, as you can see up at the top here. So very much okay with that. Very, very, very much okay with that. Right. Concrete construction parts. Concrete construction parts uh, makes construction parts too. Still a little bit nervous about that. To be honest, we just need more... We need more trucks just in general, right? We need a couple of additional trucks. I'm gonna, gonna get more trucks. But actually, maybe not getting trucks at the moment is, is a great idea. Given that, we kind of probably need to put our iron to work in a slightly different way. Uh, also, this is no longer required. This entire setup... Oh, deleting the smoke, I see. Uh, yeah, this setup is no longer required. Absolutely not a priority for us at the moment. Uh, yeah, so casting is... Casting is going fine. Casting is going fine. Iron is starting to get backlogged there. That's That's brilliant. Uh, coal, there is a little bit of an excess of coal over here, but you know what? That's maybe a good opportunity to get another storage facility over here. That's grand. Right, I think we're going to turn this beacon off. We must be coming up against, yeah, we're coming up against our population cap very, very soon. And we've got about well, we've got tons of rubber, actually. We're, we're just fine. Tons of rubber, tons of copper, in fact, even as well. Uh, let's have a little look at research. Anything that we particularly need to do? 
Transport balancing. Oh, yeah. Ship dock repair. You can start working on the ship. Fuel station. Tired of excavators going back and forth to refuel. I mean, that's pretty handy, actually. Irrigated farms. Okay, let's do ship research, and then we'll do irrigated farms. That seems like a very, very good idea to me. Right, this slag dumping area looks looks grand. Uh, however, that being said, what we do need to do is get ourselves a brand new a brand new production area for casting of copper. And we're going to be able to do that very, very, very swiftly indeed, because let's be brutally honest, it's not an overly complex not an overly complex setup. We're going to get copper ore in here. Uh, we are, of course, also going to need to find somewhere to mine copper ore. <gasps> There's also a beach over here. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it was a beach. All right, let's get a control tower there. Control tower here. Mining zone. Entity is too close. Uh, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Okay. Excavators. Let's unassign that one. And let's assign you here. Assign one truck as well, given that I probably don't think that we're going to need that much. Uh... That much mining, but that's okay. How many excavators do we have here? Just, just one. That's fine. A uh, new tutorial for diesel production. Thanks, but no thanks, video game. I will, uh, I will worry about that in just a second. Uh, nope, just one is fine. New refugees. Okay, that's great. Uh, it's time to pause the beacon. We don't want we don't want that to we don't want that to come through anymore. Uh, repairing the ship yard. Fifty construction parts. Right. That's clearly something which we'll need to work on. Are we mining sand yet, or are we still mining dirt? We're still mining dirt. Uh, okay. Is are you gonna go and you gonna go and dispose of that dirt? Presumably in the big old dirt pile. I imagine so. There's not very much that we can do with dirt. There's not very much that we want to do with dirt. Fluid storage, loose storage. Uh, we need a concrete mixer. Basic distiller, diesel, diesel generator, metal caster. Uh, we need to straight up start working on diesel stuff. Like, absolutely we need to start working on diesel stuff. Alright, sand goes in here. Water goes in here. Let's do... that in there like so nice storage all right looking good i think that we'll have the components to make this all work certainly hope so uh we're also going to get an oil pump in here now, where the heck was oil? I think it was, it was right over here. Wonderful. Get that in there. Basic distiller. What do we need? Coal? Easy. Shouldn't be able to, shouldn't worry about that. And of course, oil is transported in a pipe. And... We'll just get the storage on the other side here. Yep. And uh, smokestack. And then also going to get a dumping setup because we're going to need to get a wastewater dump to output the wastewater as well. Okay. Man, I love how this just works. I love how it just automatically roots the pipe around. Like, that's really, really impressive. 
Okay, um, we're not going to have the construction components, not for a little while. We could use uh, a little bit of Unity to make this happen. Uh, to be honest, I'm not dead against that, but we can... We can manage, we can manage. Uh, copper, did we get a... Did we get a copper extractor? We did not. Copper excavator, even. That's fine. Uh, we do have plenty of Unity at the moment, that's grand. We don't necessarily need to be able to access this beach yet, but I guess it's good to continue plowing onwards. We can turn we can turn this on. We can turn this on and we could do that, but I'm not actually gonna I'm not actually gonna do that quite yet. I, I think that what we're really after is an additional uh, electrification area, an assembly area, whatever. Electrified assembly area. And we'll plonk that in there. And we'll plonk this in here. So we're kind of like prepping to set this area completely up with... Uh, with, uh, with what do you want to call it, conveyor belts when we, when we get them online. Uh, okay, this does not need to be built as a priority. Please, please don't build this. Please do not build this. Just keep churning out, keep, keep churning out, uh, construction parts. I will buy the rest of this. I will store diesel in here. Quick build, the rest of the unity. Excellent. Brilliant. Now we just need to deliver coal, and that should be delivered, well, by these trucks over here. I'm not mistaken. Uh, he says. There we go. Now we're talking. Beautiful. All right, that's it. And we got diesel. We simply have diesel. It simply just works. What do we need? More crude oil? Uh, that's a very, very easy fix, actually. There we go. But we've got diesel, we've got it coming in, and that's what's important. Uh, I could probably quick build, but I think that we might just have enough components. There we go, and we are golden. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Uh, we should probably try and buffer this. If we were to try and buffer this, this would almost certainly improve everything. Yeah, it, it needs it needs a buffer in here. It absolutely needs a buffer in here. But, you know what? Let's not worry about the buffer right now. Let's just, let's just worry about, uh, Let's just worry about the number of components or the number of uh, the number of bits of oil that we have coming into the coming into the distiller. What the heck is the route that this excavator is taking? That is that is a whack route. If ever I saw one. Uh, right? Are we working? We should be. We should be working, eh? Missing input. We're, we're missing copper. Uh, there is a truck assigned here, but we could get additional trucks assigned here. Uh, we have copper, we have we have concrete, we just need to build the facilities to store this stuff in. Let's store concrete slabs over here. There we go. I think we're ready to rock and roll. I think we are ready to rock and roll. 14 seconds in the queue, I think that's fine. What are we needing? We need, we need more copper ore, is that it? Ah, tell you what, we might not actually be straight up working on copper ore. Yeah, we're working on rock a little bit at the moment. Yeah, so now we're working on copper ore. Uh, yeah, the problem seemed to be that we were only excavating a little bit of copper ore. Not all of the stuff was copper ore, but that's fine. Okay, keep the diesel, keep the diesel flowing. Keep the diesel flowing. Excellent. I think we're fine. I think we're fine for diesel. He says. He says. I'm really, really not sure. 
I'm terrified that we're going to run out of the stuff. It's, it's very, very important. Uh, let's get the assembly area up and running, and let's make sure that we enable that right over there. I think we're straight up ready. I think we're straight up ready to go. Like, we are... Yeah, we're good to go. We are good to start producing... We're good to start producing uh, level 2 construction components. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's really, really good. That is really, really good. Okay, uh, research again. Let's see if there's any other research that we can uh, maybe do. I mean, food is fine. Transport balancing. Ship weapons? Oh my goodness gracious me. Fuel station. I'll take fuel station. I think that this is... I think that this is basically the limit of... I say this is the limit. There's definitely like a couple of other things missing out on the, the tech tree. My, a data center? What the heck is going on here? Groundwater pump that gives us water. A fuel station might be might be handy. An irrigated farm is almost certainly more useful. Okay. Nice. We need to make sure that that's kept full as well. Because we need the diesel to be over here. There we go. Make sure that it's make sure that it's moved. Nice. I don't think that we need any additional. Yeah, I don't think that we need anything else. And we just need more water, uh, more water pumps, more oil pumps. To be honest. Yeah, and I don't think that there's any more inputs, is there? I mean, there's more inputs from elsewhere, but... There's no no additional inputs to the basic distiller. Uh, that's fine. Okay, fuel is is just not... It's just not being made available in, in large enough quantities. I'm just terrified. I'm just absolutely terrified. Uh, good news is that we are making construction parts, which is excellent. That's really, really good. Let's assign coal here. And let's see if we can try and get some freaking flat conveyors, eh? Invalid port connection. Uh, U-shaped conveyor. That is the right port connection. We have the right port connection. Roger, roger. We are a go. All right, let's see if that let's see if that works. I think it will. I I think it will. I think this is I think this is going to be brilliant. I think this is going to be brilliant. Also, uh we need to get some more trucks here. Get at least two more trucks on there. Irrigated farms. That's fine. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's working. It's actually working. It's actually freaking working. Uh we are kind of a little bit maybe a smidge out of diesel. But, I mean, details, I guess. Who cares? Who cares if... <laughs> who cares if we're out of diesel? Who cares? You know what? Just, just need more freaking pumps. Give me more freaking pumps. Go, 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 go. Also, we're at 60 Unity. I really need to use... I really need to use some Unity. Uh, let's boost production. So that's going to give us a consistent boost. We're also going to boost that. Boost this. Boost this. And boost this. Okay. So it's going to give us negative unity. We we know this. It's uh it's fine. Yeah. I think that's I think that's fine. That should allow us that should allow us to get into a slightly better position when it comes to electricity. Yeah, I believe so. Uh coal, the fact that we don't have any coal here is a little bit disconcerting actually. It's probably just because we need more excavators in general, perhaps. 
build, build. Let's go. Quick build with Unity. And quick build with Unity. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. It's been a bit of an expensive month for, for building stuff, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Additional excavator? Yes, please. Okay. Irrigated farms. Can we upgrade this to an irrigated farm? We absolutely can. Uh, also, the fertility is being absolutely demolished here. So we're going to... We're going to return to a little bit more of a traditional growing pattern. One month growing, one month no growing. Let's get that upgraded as well. We should have the appropriate number of uh, tier 2 components. Maintenance is fine. What's this? What's the difference here? We can build... Oh, we can use impure copper. Is that what we get from this? Yeah, we could use... We could use impure copper. Uh, yeah, fine, I guess. We'll use impure copper, given that's... What apparently we're getting. What do we even need copper for? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're inputting water, which is great. Inputting water from the water tanks. Oh, wonderful. It's working. It's actually, it's actually freaking working. What do you know, eh? What do you know? Yeah, could we fill this up with gold, please? I don't know why it's taking such a gosh darn long time, but we could really do with some additional, some additional resource here. And we can maybe increase the amount of diesel that we hold in this vicinity. Sure. Alrighty. I think that that maybe do with a little bit of additional copper storage. But apart from apart from that, I, I think that we're pretty much perfect, to be honest. Genuinely, this is this is looking and feeling great. This is cracking. Let's get this repaired too. Our irrigated farm looks incredible. And we're going to be able to harvest like super, super quick. We've got 41 months of food supply left. I mean, we're fine, aren't we? We're absolutely fine. And we've got the majority, perhaps. The majority of the... Uh, of components that we need to to build the the advanced uh, the advanced dock, still not able to get the appropriate amount of coal though. Yeah, we're just not there. We're just not there. Is it just is it purely a excavator to truck ratio here? I think it straight up might be. Yeah. I think it might be. And unfortunately, we do need to keep this concrete mixer on the go, even if it is just nominally. When the two excavators are working here, it does look like there is a bit of a bit of progress, but it just seems to take just seems to take a long time. And we'll store impure copper there. And that's grand. Alright, diesel is looking much better now though. Diesel is looking way, 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 way better. Still nobody's moving still nobody's moving coal into this uh, into this loose storage bin which is a bit of a pain but that's fine All right well that's that that is that is what it is uh, okay I, I sincerely thought that we would get through all of the content in uh, this episode here ladies and gentlemen but clearly there's a little bit more that this game has to offer and uh, I'm having an absolute blast this tech tree is extensive and i want to play it more so we're going to do another episode on it uh for now ladies and gentlemen thank you ever so much for watching my name of course has been over potato i uh, thank you as ever to banana and aurelia from the 225 dollar plus tier patrons thank you very much for watching folks i'll see you next time bye